Cheers and welcome my friends, I'm Horat Drak and we are playing Europa Universalis 4 together with the new steel sea, the Cossacks we're playing as Russia. And we formed it out of Novgorod and we are going uh, to take as much of Kazan as we can. We are currently embroiled in a war with them. Um, and they are, they started their own war against Nogai down here. We have taken their capital. I hope that they will take their capital provinces back. Because um, I I would like to have them. I'm sort of a completionist, so why not why not get these two? It just would seem odd if they were to keep them. Um, let the game run. We are also besieging all their forts. They have one fort over here in their vessel, Kazakh, and they have one fort over here. I wonder if they are going to attack me or if they are going to attack these guys would be cleverer for them to attack these people yes there will be a battle oh no there won't really they're not going to do it well fine then how many cannons do we need here for the next bonus four we just have three. That's unfortunate. I might send them one cannon. Oh, it doesn't really matter. Doesn't matter. What are you guys doing? Hmm. This will take a while. Fort level three, because it's their capital. Oh yeah, well. Are they moving? Have I forgotten a province? Let's have a quick look on the uh, political map mode. No, I haven't forgotten anything. Oh, that's annoying. Are they going to take this from me? I would like to get another leader. We will be very soon able to up our military tech, which is very nice. I like that exceedingly. Um, okay, so these guys are going home. Okay. If you want to. Alright, I, I will send some more cannons in there. What is the next bonus? So six will also bring us something. So I'm going to send all my cannons in there. Yeah, they are sieging their stuff back. I like that. Take back your capital fort. I've got no problems with that. Hey, and a gift to the state. We're going to take the money. We're already in the red. I really don't want to take more loans. It's not looking good for no guy. Although, in the end, I'm not at war with no guy, so they will live longer. Why aren't they taking this back? It would have been a very easy thing to do. Now we are getting a bit more of a siege bonus. Very good. Oh, and it's up to 42%. Nicely done. Yeah, I would like them to re-siege these places. Get out of my land! You really shouldn't stroll around there. That's not good for your health. And we have our free diplomat. We're going to send them again to the Commonwealth to support our own heir on their throne. How's it looking? Where are the heirs? So our heir is in two, four, five, sixth place. Maybe we can pull it off. Would be good. Is there any other culture conversion that we can do? No, only perm. 
we're doing that already, so fine. Oh no, I can select the culture. No. I only want Russian culture. It's way easier to to govern a land that has one unified culture and religion. Um, nothing much happening. I'm going to up the speed. England made peace with Kiev. Oh, Commonwealth took Kiev back. Very nice, but they could have given them more. Uh, that is some of the land we gave up in the last coalition war to get out of it. Commonwealth seemed to have no problem with that. Fine. Don't have a problem with it. I don't even have cause on this because it is not their culture. Commonwealth is Polish and Lithuanian, but not the Ruthenian. Um, when will our truce expire? 69. We have six years to hold on to our ill-gotten gains and to integrate our lands that we take. I want I want this province. Commonwealth have sent a warning to Kiev. Fine then. I couldn't vassalize them. I could theoretically vassalize these guys if I were nearer. You can see the distance between borders is the biggest problem. I would have to take um, a chunk out of uh, Crimea though for that to happen. To be feasible. We have our, our one army up here. No, don't don't attach to that army. I'm going to tell them to do their own thing. Although, no. Attach to this unit. It's not bad. It's not a bad idea. Oh, they took back their own capital. This is the Imperial Army. You're going to get that leader now. You should take that back, you idiots. They're not doing the right thing. Not happy. 45%. And yeah, we cannot take more of the land. We can give you all the cannons, though. Oh, we already have a very big bonus. Because it's a rather weak fort. Now we have a 5 bonus. This should fall nearly instantly. They also don't have a lot of defenders. I don't want no guy to have these provinces. So we've won kind of day. And they are besieging my thing over here. I'm going to let no guy do the fighting, because why not? We can convert Bereznia, which is what we're going to do. How is their war looking? What's the war score? Plus six for Kazan. Well, they are not going to do anything. Interesting. Now yeah, the siege should end pretty soon. Ottomans. Are you at peace now? No, you aren't. I hope this war is going to go on for a long time. That would please me greatly. And perm is the culture we desire. We want this province. All right. Take back these provinces. Oh, we are at 98% now. Yeah, right. We could have desieged this place. But why should I do the, uh, the work for no guy? I wonder if they will be um, clever enough to 
to stop it. To stop their war with Nogai. They cannot believe that they can win this. Liege is into a military alliance with Austria and Portugal. Interesting. Now yeah, wait. I'm going to make it easy for them. I'm going to let them take our fort over here because I want them to retake this place. Um, yeah, that's fine. I'm, going, I'm not going to do anything with that army. Oh yeah, and we can up our military tech. Which is good, we're going to do that. We get better cannons. I'm going to take the small cast iron cannon. I always like the uh, cannons more that can give some support to my infantry and cavalry in battle. At least that's what I'm thinking that the small um, cannons are supposed to do. I want to end this war, but I cannot take all the provinces I want. So it's no use. So Milan made peace with England. Oh, whoa, whoa. And England is very cleverly piecing out um, all the combatants separately, taking as much as they can get. They still don't like me, which is kind of a shame. I are still neutral. Maybe because we are still allied with Scotland. We cannot call them to arms. They will not accept, so I cannot call them. Yeah, okay. Fair enough, I guess. Now, go on. Finish the siege and then get your own stuff back. I want to take all your lands. I should theoretically be able to squish this army. Oh, smush this army. I want them to resiege this and this. Hmm, conversions are going really fast now that we have the uh, religious ideas. It's totally worth it if you're playing Russia to take them. Otherwise your life will be miserable. Go on. I haven't got all day. So we are at our manpower cap. How's the force of it looking? We can take one more unit. Mm, I'm not going to do that yet. Cossack settlers. The life of the steppes have made the Cossacks used to a frontier living. Constant threats from both a harsh climate in an unsettled land and of Tartar raiders have made the Cossacks both feared warriors and hardy settlers. As we turn our sights on the lands of Central Asia and Siberia, it is becoming apparent that life on the eastern frontier is not that different from that of the steppes we already control. Um, could enlist Cossack settlers. Um, settler chance, 5% global settler increase. This will stay for 15 years. What do they want? Bosch Kortostan. I will lose loyalty and influence if I don't do that. Um, yeah, it's not, it's not that huge. All right, have it. Have fun. How, how big is the minimum autonomy? 25%. That's fine. That's all fine. So now they are marching back. Uh, I hope they will retake Yike. I know we're playing cat and mouse with them. Move back here. Yeah, retake that. 
And we converted Berezhnye. I wonder if there's an alert for culture conversion. Or if I have to, I have to check manually. No. Okay, they've taken that. That's fine. Girl Red has made peace with someone. Well, this is useless. Um, because I'm taking a lot of time to do that. Kazak wants out. Kazak. Can Kazak? Uh, they are independent, so I could get them out. How much money do you have? Only 30. Could make them my vessel. Yeah, we're not interested in these step hordes. Give me war operations. Anything else? And your treaty with Bukhara, because I hate these guys. And your treaty with Kazan. I don't want your province, though. Although, would this decrease my war score? I don't really know, but I'm going to take out of this war what I can get. Now... Oh, 22 days until this guy comes back. This agent has been discovered. Are these still 18,000 men? No. So, these are 11. Make your peace with no guy. They are winning now. Showing they are at plus 9. What are you offering? Lots of land. Lots of land. No. We're going to make our own peace deal. So what do we want? We have claims on all these places. Sarai. Yukak. Yake. Hmm. That's them unfortunate. Oh, okay. So I could do something like this, which would make this a peace offer of 99. It would annoy the crap out of everybody around here. They are already annoyed like hell. Uh, would give me a lot of land. We'll basically take all the land except for this one province I can't um, get anyway. And I can call them already. That would be good. We're going to do that. I I can get this province another time. Oh, wait, what are we what are we fabricating on? Zetiru. So we don't have a claim on this, so it will be a bit more expensive. It doesn't really matter, this land is cheap anyway. So, yeah, I would have liked to fully annex them, but what can you do? We'll take it. We'll take it. Just like that. And... We don't have... Yeah, we nearly have no war exhaustion. So, this should be rather cheap to call. Let's have a look at Alexandrov guy. Now it's, now it's all renamed. Proper Russian names. As it should be. So this will cost us 1.3% more. It's not worth spending the points for that then. Oh, for the re re reduction of war exhaustion. So, yeah. Let's call these places. Okay, here we come. 
reduction of war exhaustion is not necessary. Uh, overextension should go away pretty soon. We have calls on or claims on most of these places. And if that's done, this place will protect these these people. I might have to build a fort in here. That is looking like a very good place for a fort. This doesn't have a fort anymore because it's not a capital. So we might need a fort in here. That would get all these places over here. This is protected by Zimbirsk. Orenburg. Hmm. This might have been a good place for a fort, but I guess we're going to build one in Aktubinsk. That will do us, I guess. Although this is protecting this, and this, and this, and this is protecting this. Yeah, Aktubinsk is the only place that is left unprotected. Might just park an army in there. But in any case, um, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, please give me a like. If you didn't, tell me why in the comments. And if you want to see more of this series in the future, please consider subscribing. We have upped our force limit a bit. And in the next episode, we're going to integrate all of our ill-gotten gains or rightful conquests, however you want to view it. Hope you join me for that. Thanks and bye-bye.